Hi, this is Flav of Boxing Evolution TV, and I'm just here with Raiko Radovic of Hour of Power. Hour of Power is a revolutionary, revolutionary new fitness technique, and Raiko is going to tell us a bit about it. So, Raiko, give us the lowdown. What is Hour of Power? Hour of Power is a, a version of a workout that's called Fitness 4x4, and the idea that these two upper body limbs and the lower body, these two especially, get neglected in fitness. So fitness 4x4 is the idea that upper body should be as fit as the lower body. And then Hour of Power is, is a class version of that, where we, we know that people tend to train better with beats, with music, with a, a sort of a structure. So we structured fitness 4x4 into a class, and, that, and that's the most powerful hour you will ever spend. So Hour of Power is basically, what, what, what is the main gains you get from Hour of Power? It's, it's aerobic or cardio fitness and sometimes people think well you know that's not my main aim to be just cardio fit because they're in their mind they're picturing a skinny marathon runner running for 26 miles but our, our thought is that anything you do that lasts longer than a minute or a few minutes it doesn't matter what it is that's cardio so the, the main determining factor is are you still going to be? Are you still going to be good after five, ten minutes? The main factor is: Are you cardio strong? So, Hour of Power targets that massively, but with the upper body, as much, if not slightly more, than the lower body, to make up for the fact that it's it's not in balance. Usually, people's lower body can they can run miles and miles, get them to do something equivalent in the upper body, they can't do two minutes. So, Hour of Power really dramatically changes that. So it's like an all-over balancing kind of uh, workout. Yeah, all over total body cardio, but we achieve it, the fitter you get in it, you don't go faster in our method, you go harder, heavier resistance. So I guess when I think about how it relates to you know the fight world or, or boxing, it, it wouldn't be how many punches can you do in a minute, it would be that each punch you have has more force. And then you keep that going for 10, 15 minutes. And that's what we do in Hour of Power. As you get fitter, you do the same movements. We do a series of simple movements. But then you keep adding a, a resistance, add a kilo, and then add another kilo, then add another. And hopefully, after maybe three, three months or so, you should probably, have, you should probably be 500% fitter in your upper body. Which won't just mean you're fitter, it will mean you're a lot stronger as well. So it means that when I'm doing quite long interviews like this, my arm won't start to ache after <laughs> holding the microphone up. Will it help with that? You'll, you'll develop techniques of breathing to get yeah. you through it. Oh, okay. So are there any well-known uh, boxers or MMA fighters that you've been working with on this? We, uh, interestingly, our challenge, Alex Reed was one of the first people to take on our challenge and um, did very well with it. And I trained with him a few times. Um, we've had... A lot of uh, in the Gracies in the Jiu-Jitsu world. Um, we don't have any boxers currently that I'm aware of, except you. I know you used to do the class. I've been doing a little bit, been doing a little bit. I have to say, I've noticed incredible results of doing this class, actually, to be honest with you. Well, you're, you're probably... I can talk in theory how it should help a boxer, and, and I think I'm not, not sort of just making it up off the top of my head. There's performing a punch... I studied anatomy, I know which muscles it requires. Um, mostly it requires a lot of energy and forcing that energy into one movement. And having a strong upper body, not just in the arm, but from the waist upwards. And definitely hour of power. Not just the upper body part, the middle section, but we do a whole floor section where there's, you're manipulating your whole body but still holding the weights. So the, the core, everything gets really strong. So I, I cannot see how that wouldn't be very effective for any form of fighting or martial arts. I mean, definitely uh, when it comes to fighting, how quickly you recover and your endurance, how long you can keep going for is a major factor. And I think definitely our power is something that really works on the endurance and recovery uh, yeah. areas of fitness, doesn't it? And uh, it, it, you, you'll remember from classes that we, we're really tough on people in terms of you can recover, but you recover in, in this way, in this very active, very difficult way, but you do recover like that. And that's more realistic, I think, to 
you know, when you're in the middle of a, a grapple or, or even in boxing, there's an element of you're sort of pushing the person around. It's not just punching, there's, you're wasting each other's energy. And you've got to find ways to breathe and recover. And Arab Power is pretty good for that. Okay, brilliant. Um, so where, where do you see Arab Power going? What, what have you got in the lineup? I've heard talk about a retreat out in Montenegro and, and things like that. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Lots going on. Um, the retreat is something that's in development, and so people will be bringing groups there to partly learn our fitness and partly just be in, in a, a, an incredible environment. Um, in terms of where our power is going, we have a, a DVD of the workout that's sold very well around the country, so a lot of people from home learning to do it. In terms of classes, um, we have about 50 instructors around the country sort of spreading the word of this form of training. Some doing very well, you know, I'm, I'm hearing about classes of 60, 70 people and um, a real high energy and, and that's what the class gives. So I, as national director of it, want to see it spread where someone starts a class here, university takes on a class here, a health club here, and in the end, we'd like our power to be talked of in the same breath as everyone's heard of spinning, you know, every, Ten years ago, nobody knew what spinning was, but now everyone knows it. It's good, it works. Not everyone loves it, but they all know about it. And I'd like Hour of Power to be in the same, the same breath. Okay, so you've got some good plans for uh, developing Hour of Power there. Now, um, you're, you're actually a living testament yourself, aren't you, to the uh, benefits of Hour of Power. And some of, some of the girls out there might recognise this good-looking face from... Uh, was it, what was it you like to tell us? Would you like to tell us what it is you achieved? What, last man standing? Yeah. Raiko here was, I think, joint winner or winner of Last Man Standing, weren't you? I was tied in first place at the end of Last Man Standing. Um, funny you should say uh, the girls might recognise me. They probably wouldn't because it was more the guys who watched the show. <laughs> it was a sort of an outdoors uh, survival type fighting. So you appealed to the guys then a lot more. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm, I'm going by the... Usually people say, oh, did you do that show? It's not usually women. <laughs> But um, it was a great experience. It was taking on Zulu stick fighters and wrestling with Mongolians and crazy stuff. Uh, but yeah, that was that was funny thing is it feels like it was the, just the other day because I've still got the scars and injuries to to remember it by. But that was uh, a few years ago now, and it's but it still feels very fresh. So do you think it's our power that gave you the edge over the other other competitors in that? Our biggest test in Last Man Standing was the psychological test and obviously anyone who's been in the army or from that background has that self-discipline and, and endurance and, and ability to cope with difficult surroundings. I'm not from the army but I think Hour of Power gave me a certain amount of self-discipline, how to cope with a very uncomfortable feeling and often I think that helped me in, in Last Man Standing. To be honest with you, I found that from doing the class as well. There are points where you're really aching and you really just want to stop, but you know, making, forcing yourself to keep moving really you know, helps you uh, develop that mental endurance, and that mental discipline, you know, which comes in very useful in a boxing match. You know, you're feeling tired, you may be wanting to stop, um, you know, but you, you have the extra drive to keep going from, from doing it. And it's, it's a good point is everyone knows that if you're a bit tougher in here, you'll be tougher in, in the fight or in the challenge, whatever. The question is, how do you develop that mental toughness? And the thing is, you don't develop it just from saying, I'm going to be mentally tougher. Because then what happens is you hit that thing that's mentally tough and you, you know, how have you gained any strength in it? Hour of Power is quite effective at training you in small, small ways how to achieve that mental toughness. For example, we say to someone in the workout, even if your arm is getting tired holding this mic, same as an hour of power. However, however tired you are, here are your options of how to rest. We'll tell you your options. They may not look like rest to you, but we can tell you for a fact. If you do this when you're really tired from this, it will feel like a rest and it will achieve a rest. But it takes self-discipline because you want to rest just like... You know, that's how people want to rest. And we say, you don't rest like that. You rest like in a, a complete uh, held squat or you rest by going from this exercise to straight to this one, no stop. And when you get that mental discipline, then you know, even outside of the class, um, in whatever you're doing, you can think, right, I've got nothing left in the tank. But 
I could probably just about force myself to do this to recover rather than complete give up or complete fail. And um, in small ways, the Hour of Power really develops that. Okay, well, it sounds, I mean, I've been doing it, and believe me, guys, it really is a, a really good workout to do. You get so involved in it, and it actually is very, very addictive. Um, so would you like to tell us a bit about where we can uh, find out more information about Hour of Power? Yep. Thehourofpower.co.uk. So it's quite important, The Hour of Power. Uh, or if you type in Hour of Power Workout into Google, you'll find the DVD, you'll find the website. Um, maybe find a class local to you uh, and any one of those we want to encourage people check it out find a way to do the workout whether it's from your house or from a local gym and um, it will change your fitness change your life okay guys well that's Ryko um, if you're interested go and check out the website um, I hope you've enjoyed this interview uh, take care over and out